Hey guys, Davey here from phonebook.com and in this video we're doing a speed comparison test between the HTC EVO 4G LTE from Sprint. Basically this guy is Sprint's variant of the HTC One X against T-Mobile's HTC One S over here on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and start the speed comparison test by turning both of these phones on, pressing and holding the power button at the same time. Both phones actually have HTC's fast boot setup uh, enabled so let's go ahead and see which one actually loads up the Android OS first. Both phones are running the same version of Android. Both have HTC Sense 4. Both have dual core 1.5 gigahertz processors and a one gigabyte of RAM. So very equal. Um, loaded up maybe just a split second faster on the Evo 4 GLT here or the HTC One X than it did on the One S. So we'll have to give the win over to the Evo 4 GLT. Usually I don't like to give a win to a phone if it's just a split second, but considering these guys are so equally matched because they're basically the same phone um, other than the screen mainly, the 1280 by 720 resolution. Um, I have to give the win to the HTC One X here on the left. So let's go ahead and go to the application speed test. We'll load up um, Flixer for our first test. So one, two, three. And uh, this actually opened up first on the HTC One S. So we'll go ahead and hit home. We'll load up the next application, which will be Score Center. So one, two, three. Load up first on the HTC One X or Evo 4G LTE. Let's go ahead and load up, let's do a Google Earth. So one, two, three. And of course, both apps are gonna be running in the background on our on each phone. That one is pretty close. Um, this guy's actually zooming in on a city where this guy isn't, but load it up around the same time. Let's go ahead and just back out of here and go to Let's do a calculator. Both of them have the same calculator app. So one, two, three. Exactly about the same time. So let's do Google Maps. One, two, three. So pretty much as you'd expect, I mean, pretty much exactly the same performance out of both of these guys. Um, the higher resolution screen though doesn't seem to be bugging the HC One X or even 4 GLT. Um, it's handling just as well as the HC One S is, but technically you would think that the One S would be a little bit quicker considering the lower resolution, which puts less of a demand on the GPU, not necessarily so much the CPU, but let's go ahead and launch the cameras on both phones to see if we can get any kind of separation here. So one, two, three. And again, pretty much loaded at the same time. Hopefully the browser test will give us a better indicator as far as, you know, one being faster than the other. I'll go ahead and load up the internet on both devices. I did clear out the history on both phones. So we'll go ahead and do our first test. And of course that's phonebuff.com. So I'll just type it in here. All right, so I typed in phonebuff on both browsers. Let's go ahead and hit go. One, two, three. Populated first on the One S. See the advertisements first on the One S, the One S is done, and now the Evo 4G LT or HC One X is done. So um had to give the win there to the One S. Let's go ahead and load up this article right here. One, two, three. Alright, so the One S is done, and now the uh or the HTC, HTC One X is still actually, One X is still going. So again, the win goes to the One S. So surprisingly, you know, the One S does actually seem to be performing faster. Let's go ahead and go to another website. It might just be phone buff. We'll go to NFL.com. One, two, three. All right, so this time it's actually faster on, actually, never mind. This loaded up the full uh, HTML website. Let's go ahead and go to yahoo.com i don't know why this one loaded the full site we'll do yahoo one two three so again a little bit faster seemed like on the one x let's go ahead and load up the full desktop version on each device and uh both are still loading And the One S is done, and now the One X is done. So, um, so far, I mean, it really does look like the One S actually has a little bit of an advantage when it comes to the browser. Maybe due to the resolution resolution difference, but let's go ahead and open up an article. We'll do uh, let's do best 
tattoos on Olympians. So let's go ahead and tap this article at the same time. One, two, three. And at this time, it seems like it loaded up a little bit faster on the HTC One X. So, I mean, overall, I have to say that maybe if you're gonna give an edge to a browser, um, maybe you'd give it to the HC One S, but I mean, like in this test, the One X actually won out. Let's go ahead and do a quick benchmark. Maybe that will give us the best uh, answer. We'll do the browser mark test, so. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick benchmark here. We'll just hit run benchmark at the same time. I'll just skip straight to the results so you guys don't have to look at the whole process, and then hopefully, you know, the scores will tell us a better story as far as which phone's browser is actually faster. All right, so the browser mark benchmark is done, and as you guys can see, the One S actually scored less with 89,637, where this guy got 95,800. So, um, you know, take that for what it's worth. You know, from the test that I did, looked like the One S was actually a bit faster um, as far as, you know, there being separation, but the benchmark tells us otherwise. And, uh, you know, that was validated by the last test I did, the One X actually won. So, I mean, at the end of the day, these phones are pretty much equal. So, you know, either way you go, you're gonna get a nice, fast device, you know, mainly due to the fact that they're both running the same processors, like I said in the beginning of the video. They're both running HTC Sense 4, one gigabyte RAM. Basically, everything's the same other than the resolution. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.